Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui. Now we are continuing with the previous video where we left off with the literals. Now coming on to the operators in Java. We have different operators in Java and each one has different use and we will be focusing them and understanding them when to use and how these are performed their functions in the program so coming on to the focus on operators now you can see that we have operators we have different sets of operators here now basically operators are special symbols that perform specific operations on one two or three operands and then return a result they are used to manipulate data and variables simply you have to just remember as you already well aware of using arithmetic operators so again to represent and to just make you learn this thing that the mathematical operators all mathematical operators which you have done or which you have practiced in your daily life in mathematics so all those operators do not work in a same way in computer language not only in java in any languages so we have different types to represent them in the language while writing a program so that is why these are very important to use and to very important to focus on this learning now we have the first one that is arithmetic operators as you know that plus additive operator is also known as additive operator also used for string concatenation then you have subtraction operator then you have multiplication operator then you have division operator now here you will find the difference that in the division mathematical division you use dot line and then dot that is dot over the line and dot under the line so this is the division symbol in mathematics but here in computer to make the computer understand your division that is forward slash now the remainder operator is mod that is a percentage sign so these are all the arithmetic operators next is relational operators so you can see the relational operators they are very important in writing program when you are using conditional statements or you can see when you want to test the conditions when you want to control the program flow so you need to know about all these relational operators if you forgot anything so the programming become very difficult but you will be able to program but to comprehend and to uh, control the program flow you must learn and remember these symbols so that there won't be any problem while writing a program uh, especially while controlling the program or they are used in the program now double equals to sign basically is a equals to sign when you want to equalize left hand side and right hand sides let's suppose if a equals to 10 and you are equalizing a with b so if a equals to 10 and b equals to 10 that means you need to put double equals to sign in between two if you put only single equals to that means single equals to is known as assignment operator in terms of programming if you put a equals to b that means the right hand side will assign its properties or reference to a or values to a let's suppose if b is 10 and you have put equals to sign in between a and b so b is 10 now the b is transferring its value to a now a becomes b's value that means a equals to 10 and b equals to 10 so this way all these two variables are assigning the values and they become equal but if you want to check the value of each thing so you have to put double equals to. you can see not equals to as you know that sign of exclamation and equals to this is known as not equals to that means a is not equals to b you can use then you have a greater than sign this is similar to maths and not equals to you use in mathematics equals to and you are just putting slash over it so that it shows you the cross value that means it's not equals to and then you have greater than then again you are comparing with greater than equals to greater than or equals to or greater than equals to so you don't write this symbol in your maths you write greater than with a slash under it so which makes you greater than or equals to then again less than this is okay then you have less than equals to again you use the same less than sign with a line under it that represents less than but here in computers 
or in any computer language use less than equals to separately to represent less than or equals to and coming on to the next yes these are very important operators you can see them now logical operators they are the conditional operators also you can see double ampersand this sign is known double short for and is known as ampersand double end sign means you are ending logically ending double pipe sign means or and single quote single sign of exclamation means not so these are the condition let's suppose if a equals to b and c equals to 10 then you have to use double ampersand sign again with the double pipe sign you have this, this is known as pipe sign again with this you have to understand let's suppose that pipe sign why are we using if a or if the percentage is within 90 and uh, the percentage 90 between 90 and 100 and you want to read all the values with the decimal points you have to use or condition or logical operator that is highlighting and reading all the values with decimals and not that means a equals to or a equals to 10 not a equals to 11 that means in the series of a it will print till 10 or it will show you 10 or it will bring 10 to you but if it gets 11 it will bypass it because you have put not sign next to it in the condition that a equals to 10 not a equals to 11 then again i am just focusing this as i have explained you in the assignment operator and the equals to operator assignment operator basically is a single equals to sign as i have explained you the function of this so it remains the same now you have increment and decrement operators these double plus 2 th this is there we have two types of increments post increment and pre increment pre increment means it will increment first and then at the one or increment later on then post increment it, it will test later and then increment pre increment it will add first and then test and post increment it will test first and then increment again i repeat pre increment that means it will increment first and then it will test the condition later on but in post it will test the condition first and then increment let's suppose if a equals to 10 a less than equals to 10 so in pre it will keep on adding the number and then test later on but if it is a post type that means it will test the condition and then increment if a less than equals to 10 if it is a already 10 then it will check whether a is 10 or not if it is 10 then it will terminate if it is not 10 then it will add because the condition is tested after printing the value and before going to increment the next value it tests the condition the same is with the subtracts decrement operator double minus sign that means subtracts one from the operand the same concept will be understood uh, for increment and decrement operators and pre and post concept then you have conditional operators yes this is known as ternary short for if then as a statement so this is known as conditional operators which means condition a less than b then c so this you can put within the question mark then condition which to be focused and what to be do what to do next is after the colon so this is the conditional operator which operates on ternary operator now next one is we have bitwise operator bitwise operator you can see the unary bitwise complement then sign left shift and double less than sign then you have double greater than sign right shift then you have uh, three greater than signs unsigned right shift then you have single end a uh, single ampersand sign which is known as bitwise and then you have caret sign which is known as bitwise exclusive or to detect the gate and you have single pipe sign which is bitwise inclusive or then you have special operator such as dot operator which is used to access instance variable that means we just created the jf button dot or jf dot we put the jf dot so dot just invoked the further functions and methods available in that object so that is why this is used as dot operator and then you have instance of to check the object reference operator that whether it is the same or it has some value with the same so this is the instance of uh, operator so these are important but when you are doing some hard coded programming so we will move on to the next that is operators precedence 
now this is known as operator's precedence now this means that which operator should come first this is the just like board mass rule so you have to just use things according to this table let's suppose we have our operators here on the very first stage we have post fix that is expression plus plus or expression minus minus that means increment or decrement this is this is post increment this is known as post fix then you have unary plus plus expression minus minus expression plus expression minus expression so this is the unary or you can go back to see the unary bitwise complement not unary bitwise complement you can see this here so this is the precedence then multiplicative first multiplication then divide then mod then additive on fourth number plus and minus then shift left shift then right shift then three level right shift signed unsigned right you can again look at the back unsigned right shift right so coming on to this then you have relational first of all less than greater than then less than equals to then greater than equals to then instance of then you have equality operator that is double equals to or not equals to then moving on to the eighth one where bitwise and single ampersand then bitwise exclusive or that is caret sign or root sign this is known as basically caret sign then you have bitwise inclusive or which is single pipe sign then you have logical and basically formation basically tells you about lots of things but we move according to the need of them and for example if we are just writing the uh, logical level programs or user level programs so we don't need only any bitwise operators sometimes when we need we have to just implement them so now coming on to the 11th one that is logical and double ampersand sign is used to represent logical and where all the values are one and then this will produce the output then you have the 12th one that is logical or double pipe sign then you have ternary operator which is the if condition that is condition which has to be focused and then the output after the colon question mark after the question mark the condition which has to be tested and then after the colon what should be the action after the colon then you have assignment equals to plus equals to means pre post increment pre post decrement equals to plus equals to or you can write this a equals to a plus 1 or a plus equals to 1 are the same now here minus equals to multiply equals to divide equals to mod equals to then ampersand equals to then caret sign equals to then pipe sign equals to all these are bitwise also applied then left shift equals to then right shift equals to then unsigned right shift equals to so uh, these are different operators but we will be focusing only on the part of the required material so we will be focusing on the user level operators in a program so i hope you will like this we will continue with the, with the next video where we will understand separators so thanks for watching